Hola, and welcome to High Plains Passport. I love serendipity. For example, a week ago, I was in San Pedro Sula, Honduras, googling a band called Montuca Sound System. And then, a few days later, I was at a soccer game, and I happened to sit next to the drummer of Montuca. His name is Eric Moya, and he is allowing us to have a look at Honduras through the eyes of Eric, Eduardo, Gary, and Carlos. Through the eyes of Montuca Sound System. <laughs> This is a song called Welcome to San Pedro, which is where Montuca is from. It is quite catchy. It's so catchy that I might even come to San Pedro based on this song. But the truth of the matter is that not many travelers so much as leave the bus terminal in San Pedro. Muy peligroso. Too dangerous. Honestly, that was my plan. But, <laughs> serendipity. I don't know much about Eric, but I have a feeling that he believes in serendipity. At least, the formation of his band seems serendipitous. So, it, it, it called us somehow. <laughs> they had a, a open mic Thursday, right? So they had a mic and a guitar. Can you sing? Like, okay, let's go. Boom. I like Eric because, well, I believe that if you have a microphone in front of you, you should say something worthwhile. And not just say it, but live it. Henry David Thoreau once said, Men profess to be lovers of music, but for the most part give no evidence in their opinions and lives that they have heard the music. Montuka, they get this always have a, a good attitude and know what's right you know and, and you got to be the change that you want the world to be you know so that's kind of the message <laughs> we we definitely think about always how can we affect our community positively Montuka positively practices what they preach, which is nonviolence and peace. They are participants in San Pedro Sula's new violence prevention campaign, and they also collaborate with USAID, an organization that invests in alternative activities to reduce gang involvement. There's a lot of, lot of good people in this country, a lot of them. They just need, I think, role models, you know? They need role models, and, and we're very into trying to awake the sense in Honduras that we need it to be proud and we need to work. Some people just don't work hard enough to make it, like, top-notch, you know? Mm -hmm. I do, it's just for Honduras, I mean, yeah. But what you're saying is kind of like some musicians are like, ah, oh, it's for Honduras. But it seems like you and your band are saying, nah, it's for Honduras. Exactly. That's the kind of spirit that we always promote and have always been about. Even before we were a band, as human beings, we, we feel very attached to, number one, our families and our land. You don't choose where you were born. You, you just got to love it and got to work towards helping your community and your society. A lot of people have identified with this kind of movement that we live for. As the sun sets on this really beautiful day, I find my feet moving to the music of Montuca, around gathered people full of merriment. They are not just here to groove to the music of Montuca, but they are here to let the music of Montuca move. Take a look into Honduran music. There is a great deal of artists here that are doing great things, you know. People should take a look into Honduras. In every aspect, though, it's a great, beautiful place, too. Oh. Sure. Yep. High Plains Passport is recorded and produced by Valerie Smith. Theme song from Jose Gonzalez, and also Montuca Sound System. Special thanks to the Garden City Recreation Commission, going above and beyond for our community, for the sake of health and happiness. See a documentary of today's show and sign up for podcasts at hppr.org. <laughs>